Okay. I have a question for you guys. What do you classify as being mature? Or, and what do you classify as being childish? I have to, I had to ask myself this, and I still don't know the answer to it. Am I mature? Am I childish? I have to ask myself, because... Recent things have made me think about this, like, especially my wife, work, stuff like that. And made me also have to think about my past, how I've dealt with those things, how, um, how I've, how I am now. And how I should be when my kid is born. And, um, I'm, I'm making this vlog because I don't know how to think about this. So, I think what we're going to be doing right now is basically researching maturity and childishness. And I'm probably going to look up things, probably pause in between and try to see what I can find. Uh, it's, right now, guys, it's like 3, almost 3.30 in the morning right now. I am tired, but I can't sleep, and I'm... I figured I'd do this because this is something that's been on my mind for a while, and I think I should. I think this should be brought up. So, hold on here. Um, I went to Google and and looked at maturity. Um, maturity, the state, fact, or being of mature. Um, otherwise, experience of maturity is a strong work ethic. Um, the time when an insured policy secured, irity, etc., matures. An insurance policy. Oh, oh my god. Mature. Did I even write that right? I uh, how about just mature? Manhood here. Um, adult. Um, mature. Let's just use that. Paste and mature. Fully to de developed, physically grown. Having reached an advantage of stage, mental or emotional development characteristic of an adult. Or a thought or planning, careful and thorough. Used ethemistical to describe someone as middle-aged or old. Uh, of, of a style, fully developed. Or of certain foodstuffs and drinks ready for consumption, uh, donating in economy, industry, blah, 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 of a bill due of payment, verb, <laughs> it's also, a, it's both an adjective and a verb, so, uh, and it's, Mostly physically mature and see of a person reaches to advanced stage of mental and emotional development and With reference of a certain foot food stuff drinks become cause become ready for consumption. I don't know what that oh I get it. when cheese is too mature. It's an aging thing um, No, I think we're going on the adjective here because and there's a lot of references here that could actually classify as being mature Um what I, a lot of people think, oh, excuse me, fully grown, uh, number, definition number, okay, definition one, it says fully developed, physically full grown, or, which, you, basic, or, um, uh, most people would, um, refer that to being grown up or of age that's when people think you are considered mature I must say or an adult basically they would consider you an adult um i think that's well now personally i think that's relative i think adulthood or whether you are a mature or an, a mature adult is based on your mental state for example um I think it's immature, and you are childish, when, for example, you are cheating on someone. I think that's childish. 
why is that a thing? Well, yeah, you know this is wrong, but you do it anyway because you want to give in to your own needs. Uh, you want to give in to your needs and, well, not needs, but your wants. You give in to your urges, but you have already have a partner for that. But because they're not willing to give, give what you want, you want to go for something else. Yet again, now that I think about it, it's... No, I shouldn't. I don't know why I'm getting at this. It's just, it's aching on my brain of what maturity is. Uh, but you get my point. It's immature, right? It's not, it's wrong, wrong to do things like that. And, or it's childish to, like, s break things because you're angry. I remember I used to do that a lot. When I was angry, I had to relieve some stress. I'd go out to the woods and break stuff. Like, break tr break some sticks and stuff like that. I went and took, like, rocks and smashed them against each other and stuff like that. See if I could get them to crack. Just to get the anger out. And that was kind of childish of me. I would go on walks just to avoid people. And that was immature. And now, I what I do now... Is that I try to talk it about it. I try talking about it. I actually try to find some help. I try to find a solution to my anger. And hold on here. Um, it's it's a thought. Let's let's see. Let's. I'm gonna go to like a forum here. Maybe I can find a forum. Hold on. I'll be right back. So so here we go. Uh, I found a page called Unconscious Rethink. Uh, fifteen characteristics. Fifteen, oh, five, uh, fifteen traits of emotionally mature person. So here's number one. Oh wait, that's not it. Okay, here's number one. Self awareness. Maturity grows from what seems awareness and awareness of self of of the action you take. Being self aware mean, means you are able to look at yourself through the eyes of the observer. You can take a take. Uh, a somewhat neutral stance to watch your thoughts, actions, and emotions before applying a rational filler to them. Essentially, self-awareness is about building up, up and understanding your personality, its strengths and weaknesses, its potential and limitations of every little nuisance. Okay, um, now... What it means by uh, I get what it means by self awareness. What it's saying is that you you can look at yourself and the situation stuff like that. And sometimes I'll be honest that I don't do that. I do sometimes because when I'm trying to help someone, I try to think of myself in their shoes or what they're seeing. I try to see what they see, try to understand what they're going at, and stuff like that. And or if I'm doing something wrong and I'm seeing it through it, I'm trying to see it through them. And sometimes I don't do that. Sometimes, for example, when I'm angry, I will sometimes shut out and only think about me, 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 me. And it's happened recently and I have to... I had to think, what is, sh what is this person thinking of? Now, number two, let's move to number two, uh, self-control. Uh, there's an ad in between, uh, I don't know why, oh crap, my mic. Yeah. Once you have established a robust awareness of yourself, you can better question, oh, number two, self-control, um, you better position to extort your degree of self-control. You can identify urges that build up within your mind and resist the temptation to act on them. This might, for example, be the difference between getting angry and remaining calm when someone does something you dislike. Okay, um, a mature person is better placed to show restraint towards things that might be a, a distraction. Uh, detrimental to the short and long-term well-being, they can triumph over some of their more self-destructive behaviors by 
recognizing them for what they are. Okay, um, this goes on to my concept of what I was saying earlier about cheating. Cheating is, as I said, immature. Um, this is something I, I, I kind of just said earlier as before I was getting angry. I couldn't control my, I was losing control of my anger. When I got home, I, I try to retain it as much as I can, keep myself from s saying something stupid. So I came home, I didn't want to wake my wife, so I went to the shower and I just monologued to myself, let it out. So, so I, I couldn't do that, so I wouldn't do that. <sighs> Yeah, but in self-destructive behavior, such as stuff like this, is is very... I guess that I can agree with this one. Accountability. When you reach a certain level of maturity, you grasp us on a great responsibility it is to be a hum to be human. You accept that what that what you all are accountable that you are all accountable for your own choices and wider impacts that you have in the world. The belief that things happen to you is enrolled and in place with a proactive mid midset that understands the consequence of your actions no longer will you live passively among the world you take strides to change your situation where or <clears throat> excuse me situation where necessary so that you can live can coexistently let me read read this for a minute you believe that so out in the world you believe that you're Hold in place proactive minutes to understand the consequences of your actions. Okay, accountability. Basically, taking account for what you've done and taking responsibility for it. I have to live through this all the time. I do with deal with this every day. Because I also have to deal with people who don't want to take this responsibility. Um, on... Like, I see it a lot on YouTube, I see it a lot at work, like, privates who don't want to do what they want to do, they don't want to show up on time, they don't want to have their, sh sh have their right uniform, right time kind of thing, and it's, ugh, irritating. Um, I gotta take account of everything I do. I have to, I must own up to whatever I do or say whether it's right or wrong, so to speak. Like, I ha if I'm wrong, like in a question, I have to admit I'm wrong. Uh, one thing in the army is, uh, they do in the army, is irritating. Um, in boards, in some instances, they will give you points even if you ask, answered the question wrong. Because based on how confident you speak. To me, that makes no sense. I know this is technically off topic, but that doesn't because that doesn't show that you're owning up to you that you're wrong at all. That doesn't that's not really accountability right there. Because you still have the question wrong. You're still wrong. But they gave you the point anyway because you answered confidently. You're still wrong. Anyway, moving on. Humility. Even though you appreciate the importance of each decision you make, you remain a humble and modest person. You never take yourself to be above others, regardless of your status, wealth, power, and influence. You know that. When it comes down to it, you're all born equal, and we all die equal. We refrain from letting any personal success go to your head, and treat people fairly and respectfully, whatever capacity it may be in. Yeah. This is something I think I truly give because i don't see myself better than anyone i had said to myself earlier today this is kind of a darker way of saying it, the same thing that we are all pieces of meat we live we die we're not better than anybody else now in the army we this i think this goes under the 
concept of respect as well. Because you think about, I, I I know this is also off topic, but it's something I I it's something about respect. You gotta give it to receive it. What I don't like in the army is that because you have a sergeant rank or higher, that you're automatically supposed to be given respect because you earned it. That's stupid because I, I, I'm going to speak this right now because because just because you took the time to go online, do correspondence courses, to get points because you wanted to be a little extra so you can get an extra paycheck just so you can get a promotion and get a paycheck because you studied up in some books, you earn respect. No. Respect is earned through actions. Status doesn't give respect. Does sta gaining status does not earn respect. Gaining respect is done through actions. Based on your actions is where you get your respect, good or bad. Uh, good or bad. You can... Being untrustworthy, being rude, being... Doing deceitful things will lose, make you lose, people will lose respect for you. And doing good things can help gain that respect. Certain actions, depending on the person, affects how people respect them. And that still happened. And here's this. Believe it or believe, where the army wants it to be or not. That's how the world works. And nobody seems to get that concept. Even sergeants will forget that concept. Some sergeants are aware of this concept. But they no, but they realize the army wants it to be this way. So they say things like this. I, I, I know some sergeants who think on both ends of this. And me becoming an NCO. There's one thing I want to think about when it comes to respect, is that I want my soldiers to respect me because of the things I do, not because of my rank. I want them to respect me. If I do something deceitful, if I disrespect them in some way, I expect to be disrespected back. That's the way the world should work. Anyway, I know it's completely off topic, and it's, it's just me ranting right now. <sighs> but hum, 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 being humble is something that everyone needs to do, though. Being humble is something everything everyone needs to do, and because thinking you're better than everyone, that's not something you need to do. Back to the concept: making you think you have better, you're better than someone because of your wealth, power, or influence. Or even status, whatever. I I know I'm kind of reading off the fucking page, but even that just says, just shows that no one wants to respect you because you think they're be you're better than that person. Now, next concept of maturity: self acceptance. Maturity. Uh, sorry, self acceptance. Uh, mature people are able to accept themselves for who they are. They practice kindness even in the face of their shortcomings. You seek to improve yourself and grow as an individual, but maturity allows you to take present situation of the past and events and lead and have you led to it and make peace with them. It's only when you are able to accept where you are now that you can plan for your future. Mature people are accept themselves for who they are and practice kindness, even if the face of shortcomings. Now, this is something I kind of do because I know I do this. This is something I know I do because I see things I can't change. And I just accept it. 
one thing that I noticed that most of America is going through right now is that a lack of maturity. Oh, you see the radical feminists, the radical liberals, radical la, ra, radical left and rights are lack of maturity right now because they can't accept things as they are. The world doesn't want to revolve around you. And that's the fact. We must accept things as they are. For example, the transgender concept. Yes, you are, you can transition. You are, you think mentally like a female, but you also, but you can transition to have, you know, you can transition to another gender and have those genitals for say, but you can't change your genes. You can be legally classified as a female, but you will never be genetically classified. If you're a man, transition to a woman, you will you can be legally tra classified as a female, but you cannot be genetically classified that way because you were born with an XY chromosome. Stuff like that is why people are immature because they, because they hate that concept. And then there was the uh, radical religious people, for example. Um, they, some of them can't accept that being gay is natural. Gay is a natural thing. Being gay is a natural thing. And it may sound wrong, but technically it is a mindset. You can't change the way you think. I can't change the way that I think about my wife or how I feel about my own sexuality, being bisexual and all. Now, that, that goes to the point where nobody can help accept what's going on. No one can take that. No one can accept the things you can't change. I, I think I've, I may have misinterpreted, but here we go, back onto the uh, thing. Gratitude. Alongside acceptance of yourself comes a sense of gratitude for all the wonderful things that exist in your life. You develop the ability to see immense benefits and value bi both big and small. You, you are th thankful for people who spend your time and basic needs you e e that are met every day. Met daily. The, experience you, and the experiences you enjoy and the gifts of life itself. You never take things for granted because you appreciate what that not everyone is so fortunate. Now, this is another thing that the world is going through. People think they are entitled to certain things because that's why they, they think that, because they think that they do, and people don't appreciate what they have. People in other countries, you, your parents will tell you this all the time that. Like you'll hear this, eat that now because they're eat it now. You eat it now. Appreciate what you got because other people are less fortunate. Or, and that's really true. There are people less fortunate. I was under that concept um, for the longest time. I hated the way my life was going. I was so in the rut. Uh, in a rut. Um, I won't go any deeper. Um, if you want to, you know, I think I might redo my draw my life. I think I might redo that. Um, but anyway, uh, we should move on. Because nobody is, is taking... Everyone is taking granted for what we have. Compassion. A side effect of being grateful is that you feel more empathy concerns for others. Mature soul can't help but wish well upon those around them and try to help them in any way they can. They are more are untuned to interconnectedness and on everything and so feel the pain of others and if you if it were their own this drives them towards the charity of all kinds as they seek to spread love positive positively throughout society there are wholehearted givers who are rarely seeking rewards or recognizing the kindness they show for 
Yeah. Being selfless is basically, you can think about it. Another way of looking at it is being selfless. Caring about others. Don't worry about, not worrying about your own gain about it. Just caring about others. As a leader, I have to do that. Because I have to understand that I have to do selfless acts to help my soldiers develop. As both leaders, soldiers, I have to help my wife sometimes in the same manner. Because we are going to be parents and we have to develop to be selfless. Because we have a child, something we have to look after and not worry about our own, own self. I will be the umbrella for my child when it rains. Being other-centered. Compassion is a part of being a general approach of life and emotionally mature people adapt. Rather than the separation that comes from putting your own interests first, you are determined to do whatever you can to promote unity and oneness. You celebrate the success of others and embrace mo movements that seek to improve the welfare of everyone and not just the privileged view. This is opposed to jealousy, envy, self-promotion that often flows through immature individuals. So basically, don't be jealous about somebody or, or try to make yourself better than that. Try to outdo them, for say, because you they seem to have this great thing. From like congratulate them, basically. That's basically what it's trying to tell you to do. Now, here's this. I'll be honest. I don't. I can't exactly feel jealousy. Like, I believe that everyone has a some type of psychosis, and I believe I do have a sense of that because psycho. Uh, being a psycho means you can't feel emotions. Being a psychopath, you can't feel emotions, so you mimic them. Me, on the other hand, I, I can feel emotion. I can feel happiness. I can feel... I can feel sadness. I can feel anger. I can feel... Well, I, can, I can feel. I'm not a psychopath, but I do believe there are people who have mild forms of being a psychopath. And in fact, I don't think psychopaths are truly emotionless. Because a lot of times you think psychopath, you think serial killer. They can feel anger. I know that's a thing. Anger is an emotion they can feel. But back to my point, I can't feel jealousy. I think everyone has a bit of psychosis. Every so often there is like a... It is one out of like five... I think it's one out of five people that are psychopaths. They mimic emotions, and um, I think everyone has a certain emotions they can't feel, because I can't feel jealousy. Um, anyway, I, I, I know this is really stupid. I like how I like how there's like a Yaoi ad right here. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's Yaoi, I think. Or at least um, gay manga. Gay manga. Um, nine. Open-mindedness. Maturity breaks down the mental barriers and unlocks a sense of liber liberalism in an individual. See, this is where the term liberal is misused nowadays. Radical liberals tend to make things that are wrong also good things, such as there is a thing where people are being open-minded about pedophilia. Think about that for a moment. No longer do you see... He thinks is black and white or right or wrong. Your mind is open to many th ideas and opinions, and you do not judge the, those who might think differently or choose to live in ways that are unfamiliar to you. You're also uh, always you're also allow <clears throat> you're also allow your beliefs to soften so that you can accept the possibility that you may be mistaken at times. You don't hold facts to such uh, to high regards, but realize instead that you are a great number of unknowns in the world. Now, here's this where I partially disagree. I do agree there are things that in gray areas or things that you don't believe are not entirely correct. Or, like, for example, for the longest time, people thought being gay was wrong. It was a sin, per se. Um, 
According to religions, yes, being gay is a sin. But it's not wrong to be gay. Um, but there are areas where black and white is the thing. You, For example, you are a shit person or you are not a shit person. There is no gray area there. You are a shit person or you are not a shit person. Let's go back to my concept for ranks. How it earns respect. There are two types of NCOs in the army. There are good NCOs and then there are bad NCOs. I see the bad NCOs as shit. As a ball of shit that has been shaped to, to look like a glorified piece of shit. And the more rank you put on it, it just becomes a more highly praised, a glorified piece of shit. See my point? Maybe I'm just immature that way. Being immature that way. I'll let you decide that. Now, moving on. Number 10. Sense of wonder. When a mature of redisc of, of open-mindedness that exists during your childhood, your sense of awe and wonder also return. It means you are once again able to view the universe as an incredible, beautiful thing that it is. You can find excitement in the miracles of nature and immense complexity of your own existence. You wonder what leads and ask how ask many deep questions about life and explore possible answers for them. Now, I'm kind of like that. Like this video right now, I asked deep questions. What is maturity? Which brought us here, obviously. Now, there are times where I don't look at the world as it is. Because I don't see... the, I don't find excitement in, in, or miracles of nature anymore. I don't see the world for... Now, the internet, I can see that way. Because there are many incredible things that go around the internet, and also many incredibly terrible things that go around of it. I don't, I don't think the complexity. I don't think about the complexity of my own existence either. I don't think of my existence as anything insignificant. Maybe that's something I'm immature about. I'm. Maybe it's crossing off a list. Maybe it's just. Another check mark on my mature and childish list here. I'm guessing this is marking me on childish. I don't know. Optimism tinged with realism. A mature individual is who is able to look upon life in the air of optimism will still maintain roots of reality. So a, a realist optimist, which is very, very contradicting, I think. You understand the good things that cannot happen all the time. But you try to maintain a positive mindset in every situation because you know that the alternative is de is definism and despair. You look up forward to the future and all the possibilities that exist. You are mentally prepared to face difficulties as as and when they are they arise. This is something I have to teach my wife sometimes because she has she has depression and anxiety. Her anxiety tells her things that something is wrong, something is wrong with her. But I have to tell her that these things aren't the thing. Real or her, her anxiety makes her pessimistic. And those of you who don't know what pessimism is, it means you think of the wrong side, you think of the bad part of it. You think the glass is empty, half empty. You think about the glass being half empty. Now, you look forward to the future possibly exist. But, yeah, um, I have to tell her that the reality of things, that most likely the, po you're most likely going through the positive part of it. Because she's going through pregnancy, she's thinking everything, something's wrong because certain things are happening in her body that she feels certain pains, headaches, or stuff like that. She feels that those something wrong. She th feels that there's something wrong, but they are a natural part of pregnancy. Flexibility is the next one. One of the ways in which you stay so positive is by remaining as flexible as possible to the circumstances you face. You're not, not stubborn. Your views are open to change. You can accept unpredictability as part of the partial of life. 
You think of your feet, think on your feet, and adapt to things as as and when they happen. The opposite opposite of, the, opposite of this is to dig your heels and refuse to change when things change around you. This is how an immature person lives. I don't know how I feel about this one because being the flexibility concept, the one that says about being flexible, whether you can ch willing to adapt or change your views. I don't think I can change my views because I'm I am set in my ways. I uh, yes I can adapt. I can't. My views can change over time based on the way I think. Um, but it takes some time for me to change that view. For a long time, I was very. Um, I thought of myself as straight for a while, and I thought that I would never change that. But over time, I realized something about myself that I'm also attracted to dudes. So, but regardless, that and so I came to be bisexual, for example. Um, and some of you in the comments are probably probably wondering, but you married a woman. So, I may a be married, and I may have came out, out bisexual while I was married, but doesn't mean anything. And I still love my wife, but I can't change how I my mind works. But I but back to my point, I am stubborn. I I, I am stubborn, and I had to think about that. and it makes makes me think about something that happened recently, and how did I treat that? Resilience is the number 13. Um, tied to cl in closely with your flexibility and optimism is resilient uh, nature that helps you cope with whatever comes your way. Even if things get ugly, you keep your chin up and seek solutions to your problems. You don't not let events overwhelm you. The strength you get in from past challenges is always available to you. Uh, Resilience. Okay, you do not dwell on your sorrows and seek pity on it from others. You have the bravery to step up, tackle the uh, hur hurdles in front of you, and get back to the path you wish to take. Hmm. Now, resilience is often put in the army because it is often needed when you're in the army because you have to deal with situations you're always having trouble being deployed, having army crap... Uh, that just puts you down. Uh, problem arguments maybe it happened at home, stuff like that. Things like this is things that you have to deal with. And I don't know if I actually use this. I don't even know. I don't even know how to. I was hoping I could find answers. Whether I hope I can find an answer. Am I mature or am I immature? Hopefully, I can find an answer right by the end of this video. Number four is patience. You are also blessed with the immense patience which helps you bide your time before enjoying the fruits of your labor. You understand that things that you want in life do not always come as soon as you wish, wish, <clears throat> you wish them to. They have to be worked for and waited for at times. Your patience extends to other people too. You understand that they accept that they, may, they might not always act as you would like them to. But you have the huge capacity to forgive where <clears throat> to forgive where necessary. You know that you are a little use in in projecting your own expectations onto others because they they have lived an entirely different life to you. Hmm. Patience. Patience. Sometimes I don't have patience when it comes to waiting. I can't stand waiting and. Sometimes I can't see other people's views. But sometimes I can. And sometimes I can wait. Honesty is the last one. When you mature with it in yourself and you no longer feel the need to deceive others, you can open, be open, honest, and sincere with those around you and trust that whatever your, their reaction to you is better than concealing the truth. You have no desire to, to wear a mask, no need to lie to others, and are comfortable with who you are, warts and all. You, real, you realize that honestly is, <clears throat> honestly is almost always the best policy because it feels genuine, not only to other people, 
but to yourself. Now this is the one I believe in the most. Because I don't, because of the way I used to be. I used to be a liar, a cheater, a thief. I used to be a terrible fucking person. I would pickpocket people. And I wouldn't feel anything of it. And then I looked at myself. And I realized I didn't like the person I was becoming. I was becoming my mother. And I didn't want to be that person anymore. I wanted to stop. So I did. I stopped stealing. I wanted to change my life. I joined the army to change my life. And it did. It changed my life completely. For multiple reasons. I didn't want to be a liar or a cheater anymore. A liar or a cheater. Though I do cheat in video games, but that's different. It's a video game. I mean, I don't want to cheat at life. I don't want to... I don't want to lie to people. I'm going to tell people the truth. Tell things, tell people how I see things. I want them to know the world as it is. I want the truth. I always want the truth. I don't want lies to be told to me either. I don't like being lied to. And I'm always looking out for that lie. Because I know liars. And I don't want to be a thief anymore either. I don't want to steal from people anymore. And I don't. That's why I don't get why people steal. I know some people steal for reasons that they need it. They need food. You steal food because you're starving. You steal water because you're thirsty. That's something is different. I see that as a different concept because it is, you're doing what it takes to survive. There are some people who steal for greed, like I did. I noticed I talked about a lot in this video. But hold on here. I talked about a lot in this video, and a bit emotional, I guess. Now, the question is, I asked myself, am I mature? Am I mature, or am I just childish? I don't even know. I thought, I thought, I hoped I'd get an answer, but I don't even have one. Guys, in the comments, if you get to the end of this video, please tell me. I, ho I hope you get to the end of this video. I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me, guys. Am I mature or am I childish? And I want to give. I want you to give me your reasoning. Anyway, guys. I. Anyway, guys. I'll uh, talk to you guys later. And, um... Deuces.